An incredible honor today for a Spokane native who has given more off the football field than he ever gave during his incredible career. Steve Gleason has been battling ALS for three years. It has taken his ability to walk and talk, but not his ability to give. And today, the former Coug and NFL player came back to his hometown in alma mater, Gonzaga Prep, and Prep took this opportunity to honor Steve. KXY 4's Melissa Luck has been following Steve's journey, and she's live with what happened today. Pretty special, Melissa. Yeah, Nadine, it was an incredible day, an emotional day here at Gonzaga Prep for Steve Gleason, his friends, his former coaches and teammates, and even the current players on the Gonzaga Prep football team. Steve loves this place, and it is absolutely clear they love him too. Today, on both sides, it was all about giving back. 18 years ago, Steve Gleason graduated from Gonzaga Prep, leaving his mark on the football and baseball fields, but in the classroom as well. He's so passionate about Gonzaga Prep football. He's so passionate about life um, that I want our kids to experience that. Who would have guessed less than two decades later, Steve would again come through a tunnel of bullpup football players, this time though, confined to a wheelchair, able only to talk using his eyes on a computer screen. I have great memories from this place and most of my best friendships were made here. Some of those friends, coaches, and teachers packed into Classroom 42 today to celebrate this life and legacy. And a man so determined to make things better for other patients diagnosed with ALS. ALS, as a disease, is underfunded and largely ignored. As a result, most ALS patients are forced to fade quietly and die. That is not okay. And Team Gleason is working to change that. Team Gleason's impact is global, inspiring others, raising millions for technology, and teaching all of us how to live in the face of incredible challenge. We need him as much as he needs us as far as support, and we're able to look at him and, and go dog on it. Um, you know, if he's going to go through it, we're going to go through it with him. Steve's magnetic. He is one of those guys it just draws people in and, and when you're there you leave a better person. Steve left his mark today with $93,000 in donations to local organizations helping with ALS and a scholarship here at G Prep in his name. Then Gonzaga Prep did what they've only done a few times before. They retired Steve's jersey. No other bullpup will ever wear number 34 celebrating the player he was and the man he is. I know they, they retired his number in football, but um, most importantly, and he'll tell you, he wants to be known for what he's done off the, off, off the field. Who better to honor than the man who lives what this school taught him so many years ago, to love, give back, and have faith. More than any other organization, Gonzaga Prep helped me become the man I am today. And you can help the Gleason Foundation just by partying this weekend in Spokane. Gleason Fest is an all-day music festival, Saturday from 11 to 11 in downtown Spokane. You can find out more information. Just search Gleason Fest on Facebook. One of the speakers here today said something about Steve that they say also embodies Gonzaga Prep. They said he points beyond himself to hope. I have been lucky enough to be a small part and witness a small part of Steve's journey over the last 18 months, and I can tell you no one is more hopeful, more inspirational than Steve Gleason. Reporting live at Gonzaga I'm Melissa Luck, KXOY4. Great story, Melissa. Great man. Well, for more information about Team Gleason and all of the stories that we have done showcasing ALS resources in Spokane, just go to KXOY.com and look under the Spotlight tab.